Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and man, this is a good way to send a file. Just explain it with arrows. This is correct. This is incorrect. He wants to be able to put this tab at the same angle as that, right here. So there's two ways to do that, and uh, one of them's going to help you more than the other one. So what I would do is bring in an indexing line and with guideline snap to on, it'll snap to right there. Get your angular dimension tool and because you've got guidelines snapped on, it'll stay on that edge, let go of your left mouse button and you've got 55.8 degrees. Now, it'd be very easy to take this thing and rotate it 55.8 degrees. And you could bring it over here and snap to the, even the midpoint of that line. But how are you going to get this down equally? You know, mathematically, there's probably a scenario that you could do the arrow keys, you know, a certain amount of time. But I'm not going to go there because I don't know how to do it. So this is how I do it or would do it. Let me just back up here and get my... So instead of moving this, let's move the whole thing. So let's get out our calculator. 90 degrees is what we need to make that perpendicular minus 55.8 is 34.2 degrees. Double click on your rotation and put your rotation here and move your rotation 34.2 degrees. Now this is perpendicular. Now we can rotate this 34.2 degrees. Why didn't that work? Oh, because I'm rotating it from the center. So we'll go to there and rotate it 34.2 degrees. Nope, that isn't it. What is going on? That is at zero. Oh, I know. Brain dead. I need. To, I just needed to be 90. Sorry about that. So now we can go right to the center of that between those lines, and that's not it. We need the center between these two lines. There's the midpoint. Now, this box, the slot is 0 0.169. 1 .69. 0 0.169. 0.169 tall. Get out our cap, and we wanted a quarter of an inch below here. Okay, get out our calculator. 0.169 divided by two, because there's two sides of it. So 0.0845 plus a quarter. So 0.845. We need to set our nudge distance on. 0.0845, and I'm gonna, I could add that in, but I'm just gonna nudge that down to show you that it's gonna go to that edge. And there's another way around that. Now we could change our nudge distance to 0.25, and we could nudge that down, and now we're a quarter of an inch off that edge. And all I did is took the half the distance of the box and nudged it down. Now let's back up here if you're there, you could go 0.25 plus 0.0845, hit enter, and it's going to give you 3.335, and there's that quarter of an inch. So you can add those two numbers in there, especially if you don't have a calculator, and we're still a quarter of an inch. Anyway. Now, the only downside of this drawing is that you're going to have to do that every time because this angle isn't the same as that angle. This angle isn't the same as those angles. So there's one, two, three, four angles that you're going to have to do because the rest of them are at right angles and we'll get this back to zero. So the rest of it, so it's only these four corners that you're gonna have to do that to. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.